What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shayla, the creator of Junk Drawer Mom, where hiding is overrated. On this channel, we talk about everything motherhood from practical to personal, so if you're new here, consider subscribing before you go. So, I got an air fryer for Christmas, and as you can see, I'm very pressed. I have been wanting one of these for a minute. So today, I'm gonna be giving you the low down, nitty gritty, all around details of this thing. Um, and so let's just go ahead and jump right in. Actually, no, let's not jump right in because I want to tell you why I wanted an air fryer. So the main reason is um, my husband and I, uh, we really enjoy to eat wings. One of our favorite things to do is to order wings from America's Best. Uh, we are a lemon pepper family here, either lemon pepper or Obey. Um, so we will order wings and then we'll either watch a movie or we'll talk or whatever, but it has to be wings. So we can easily spend like 50 bucks just for the two of us. <laughs> That's really bad, um, but it is what it is. We're, we're, you know, in 2019, we're gonna do better with our lives. So, and the air fryer is gonna help us do so. So having an air fryer means spending less money and then also being a teensy little bit healthier. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll break down uh, the equipment and then we'll talk about how it works. So I have the XL version of this air fry, which means it's the largest extra large um, version of the air fryer. It comes with uh, a manual and recipe book. It also comes with uh, this little separator thingy. So you put this into the tray, which I'll show you in a second. You put this into the tray and it will separate uh, if you want to cook like two different things at the same time. There are controls on the front which enable you to select the type of food that you're cooking. So if it's chicken, fish, fries, that sort of deal. And then you can also control the time and you can control the temperature. So to me, this device is pretty much like a convection oven, but just um, more amped up. So from what I know about it, the heat comes down from the top uh, part of the device and it circulates around um, the tray and cooks the food evenly and fries it. So what you do is you take the tray out, you put the food into the tray. So this mostly applies for meats but what you want to do is you want to make sure that you give enough space um, in the bottom of the tray so that they don't all stick together. Um, and that way it can get cooked evenly. But if you're just doing like fries or anything else, I think you just throw them all in there. You uh, push the tray closed, you set the timer, you can do manual um, and select what type of food you're cooking. And then you can also uh, select the temperature and the time if you want to change it. Then you just press start and you let it cook. Once it's done, you slide the bottom tray out and there's a release button on the handle and you release the tray and then you can dump, you know, dump your food out. Um, and it's, to me, it's fairly safe. Um, I still, I always use an oven mitt just in case because sometimes I just be tripping and I burn myself randomly. So always use an oven mitt. So pros of this device, um, this thing does its job well. I will 100% recommend um, the air fryer just simply because of the wings. <laughs> So we tried wings in here. We did, uh, I think we did Old Bay. Um, and we did lemon pepper too, actually. We, we've done it twice, three times. We've done it three times already. We've done lemon pepper, um, and then we've also done Old Bay. And this thing does its job extremely well. When I tell you that I could not taste the difference, I promise you I could not taste a difference. And I think, you know, partially, it's because I season my food so well, um, but still at the end of the day, the wings were crispy, they were great, and we actually followed a recipe that was on the inside of the manual, and that was for hot wings, which was just basic chicken wings tossed in um, like buffalo wing sauce. Um, but we just followed that, that setting to be able to cook them properly. So we've also tried uh, those little appetizer, different types of appetizers from Costco. 
We've tried um, homemade salmon cakes, which turned out really well. Um, and another pro is the fact that this thing is dishwasher safe. So both of those bottom trays that you uh, pull out, both of those can go right in the dishwasher and you're good to go. Now, here are my cons for this thing. So it is an extra large version, um, but to me, it's kind of a con. It's super tall, like deep. Um, the tray is super deep, but it's not very wide. So when I made the wings, I could only do like mm, 12 to 14 wings at a time. And each batch took 25 minutes. So for dinner, it took me like two and a half hours to make wings. And that's just unrealistic when you have um, a hungry husband coming from work and four children to feed. So I think that if I did wings, I would probably only make them for Rodney and I. Um, and maybe only do like two batches or one and a half or a batch and some fries or I don't know something like that but not for dinner that's for sure um, I do think that you probably could get a similar effect if you bake the wings first and then threw them into the fryer just to make them get like more crispy um, I think that's a little bit more realistic now I will say that I am really looking forward to trying a whole chicken um, not breaded and fried and all that but like just a whole chicken I, I really like I really want to fry it so the next time I go to Costco I'm gonna buy some chickens I'm gonna try it because it will it will definitely fit in there and because this thing is an extra large version it is it takes up a lot of space so thankfully our cabinets are pretty tall but I think um, it's definitely something to consider uh, you saw when I was holding it like it's 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 pretty big um, so unless you want to leave it on your counter or store it away somewhere if you're not planning on using it often to me that's a con um, it can easily just be in the way unless you're using it all the time I'm the type of person that my my goal I'm striving to have clear counters can it can I get an amen it just seems like everything accumulates in the kitchen um, but my goal is to keep all the counters clear so when we're not using it we just stick it in uh, one of the lower one of the lower cabinets well, hey, that's all I have for you guys today. And now I'm turning it over to you, the JDM Nation. Let me know in the comment section, do you have an air fryer? Do you want one? Do you know somebody that has one? What are your favorite recipes? Leave a comment in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. You know, I like the, I like the interchanging, the intertwining of the friends of the internet. Let's get a little, you know, networking going on here. As always, I'm bringing you practical and personal tips, products, and stories for moms just like you. Don't forget, hiding is overrated. I'll see you next time.